Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. It is a gray, gray day here on July 9th in Growing Zone 6B. It has been cloudy and rainy for days and it looks like we've got a few more days left of it. Something super nice that came out of all of this rain, outside of the fact that I'm not out there with a hose, because, dude, it's a lot of garden. Rain brought us a bunch of ripe beans. So today I would like to get those into the pressure canner, get them put up and ready for dinners down the line. Today we just have one colander full of beans. I think it's going to give us two to three pints and we're going to use our handy dandy carry pressure canner over here to get them all put up. Went out to the garden and uh, look at all these beautiful beans. It is officially bean season. So I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Some red swan beans, I've got some yellow wax beans. We've got, I believe these are Landreth Stringless. Um, handful of, a oh, couple of Romas floating around in here. All the beans started producing right at the same time, but only in handfuls, which is what we expect. This is, this is the magic of pocket harvests. So this morning is the first time I'm pulling out the pressure canner in 2021. This is so exciting. And um, I'm going to get these green beans set up to go into that pressure canner. Our dishwasher totally broke on us <laughs> a few days ago and we're waiting on the part. Bill will have that all fixed up over the weekend. Crossies. It looks like it's a pump or a piece of the pump. So he ordered the pump and Oh, please goodness. You know, I just got used to, after living here like a year and a half, I just got used to having a dishwasher, <laughs> which is a long way of saying I'm sterilizing my jars on the stovetop right now. I put my jars in with the water when it was still cold, put it up so it gets hot at the same time as the water boils, so it doesn't come up to temp suddenly and crack the jars. The, uh, water on the stove just came to a boil so we're going to let that go for about 10 minutes and then just take it off the heat and set it aside because this whole process is going to go very very quickly meanwhile we've also set up our carry canner which i love this thing um just a heads up we're not affiliated with them or anything i just love this product um i have a glass top stove so i don't like the idea of sticking a pressure canner on top of that and Let's be honest, I love that the electric one just does it all for me and I don't have to mess around with it. So we're gonna get that going. Uh, my jars are up, I'm gonna set a timer and get the pressure canner ready. Side note, wash your beans again. Um, I know you washed them when you brought them in from outside, of course we do. Go ahead and wash them again. Um, Botulism doesn't come from nowhere. It comes from the ground. So we want to wash these and scrub them really, really good. We're also going to put these in the pressure canner, which should kill any spores that might be in there. Um, but yeah, wash your beans again. So we have our beans here. I've got some water on the boil. I'm sure you can hear it in the background. Um, and I'm just gonna cut these up into the right size to fit in our jars nicely. And I'll cut them down a little smaller to fit in the jars better. While you're doing this, make sure you pull off anything that's blemished. Like you see that's blemished on the end. We're just gonna clip that off. So some folks will separate out their varieties of beans. I, I don't, it doesn't hurt my feelings at all if I have three different kinds of beans in the jar. I think I have about two to three pints worth of beans here. I've got wide mouth, 
pint jars. Um, I just find the wide mouths are easier when I'm getting ready to cook to open and, and dump the beans. This is gonna take a little bit of finagling on our part. One of the quirks of the pressure canner that I have is that it cannot operate unless it's full. I mean, it can operate, but it's less than ideal. So as spacers, I have these jars of, of water. Bill mentioned to me this morning that, oh, you've got the pressure canner out. It's officially the season of artisanally packaged waters. <laughs> so it's just plain old water that I filled these up with. I'll show you when we get over to the pressure canner what exactly these do. We've got our beans. It looks like we'll get two pints out of that. The pressure canner is all set up. There's eight cups of water in it. Our jars have been sterilizing in the hot pot and we have some kettle water that is ready to go. So I'm gonna grab that and let's get these beans processed. Let's see how many jars we're gonna fill. Oh, we're definitely gonna get just the two jars. And that is fine. I'm a big fan of a pocket harvest. The only thing I'm going to add to these beans is a quarter teaspoon of salt. Last year I added garlic and I didn't like what happened to the garlic itself. It got mushy, it was overly sweet, did not love it. And then I'm gonna fill them to right around here, that should be enough headspace, with very hot water. Then we're gonna wipe the lids. There's nothing sticky, so I'm just using a plain dishcloth. You can use vinegar if you want. I usually use that with the sticky stuff. And I'm just screwing these on finger tight. We've got our jars ready to go into the pressure canner, so let's do it. All right, so you can see that the, the space in here is not filled and it's absolutely not recommended that you run this without a full load. So I'm gonna add in my pint jar of water and my quart jar of water. And now the canner is full and good to go. You get it in, lock it. You can see at the top, this is on exhaust right now. Beans are gonna take 20 minutes in the pressure canner. There's gonna be a lot of beeping when we set it up. There are a couple of things going on. It is mostly a set it and forget it kind of thing, um, which is lovely. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up and then we're gonna watch the front of the display. It's gonna give us a countdown as it heats up. And now we wait. The display is gonna spin around for a little while and then it's gonna settle on E10. Once that happens, we're gonna wait until it hits E0 and it'll beep at us to remind us. Then we're gonna flip the switch on the top of that over to airtight and then just let it be. And we'll have green beans by the afternoon. So we beeped and we are starting our countdown and we're gonna wait for it to get to zero and beep again for us. This should take between 10 and 15 minutes usually. 
So we're just gonna let it go. All right, it beeped and let us know, and we are switched now to airtight. All right, it's been a little while. Um, I think this rested for like two, three hours in between when it said done and now. So let's lift our jars out and see how our beans came out. All right, so first I'm gonna flip it to exhaust just in case there's any steam left. Oh, that looks promising. Look at that. And we'll just wait for that to cool down the rest of the way before we dump it because trying to do that with the oven mitts on is no fun. Anyway, we got two lovely jars of beans. Let me see, look how nice. And you can see all the red beans turned green. It's just what they do when they're in the heat. Um, but yeah, this should be nice. These two will go really well for a dinner side at some point. And the lids have already popped. So I'm gonna let these sit on my kitchen table overnight, undisturbed, and then I'll get them downstairs, take the rings off, and put them up on the shelf. So there you have it, beans. Um, all canned up and good to go down cellar. Uh, before I say goodbye, I wanted to share something with you. If you know a little bit about me, you know how much I love stickers. Um, they're kind of one of my favorite things about doing any project. And so I might have made some stickers for this project too. So let me share them with you. First up is Mailer's Landing, established 2019. And um, it's got Poppy Mailer's anchor on it. Ask me about that. Go ahead, I'll tell you the story. And then uh, just a sticker with the birds' names on it. I, I couldn't resist. Um, anyway, I've got these up in my Etsy shop and you can order them there. I'll put the link down in the description for you too. So there's that. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today on this gloomy day while we could do some stuff in the kitchen. I will catch you up soon. Take care. I've got some red swan beans. That's the coffee maker.